Hey guys, so in this video we're going to have a look at defining a geometric sequence. So we've previously looked at geometric sequences and we know that a geometric sequence is when we have an initial amount and then that initial amount is going to change by a constant ratio over time. So you might start off with some number and then over time it changes by a constant ratio so you get this upward sloping curve and it increases by a faster and faster of amount. That's what we call an exponential curve. So it increases exponentially. So here in our geometric sequence I, I went out and uh, I collect rabbits and I noticed that one month I had two rabbits and then suddenly out of nowhere the next month I had four rabbits and my rabbits kept doubling every month. So I, I bought two rabbits in the pet store five weeks ago and now all of a sudden I have no idea how many rabbits I have because I have that many rabbits there everywhere. So what I want to do in this video is I want to look at whether I can use a, some sort of geometric sequence to forecast the exact amount of rabbits that I have now. So with a geometric sequence we said it was characterized by this common ratio. So the common ratio was the idea that every next number, so 2 to 4 and then 4 to 8 differs from the previous number by this constant ratio amount. And the way we can work that out is we can say, well, if the next number in the series, say the second number is 4 and the first number is 2, well, 4 divided by 2 will give us this common ratio. We can also say that if the ratio is constant and it's this common ratio common to all scaling, if the third number is 8, then we can also work out what the common ratio is by taking 8 divided by 4. We can also work it out by taking 32, which is our fourth number in the series, and dividing it by 16. So this ratio is completely constant across all of our numbers, and if all of our series. And if we work this out, we'll find out that it actually comes out to be 2. So the next number in every in our series, so every next number is going to be just the previous number multiplied by 2. And we called this the common ratio. So what we're looking for is we're looking for a just a general expression. So we're looking, looking for a general expression of the number of rabbits that I have. So we know that I started with 2. So I had 2 rabbits to begin with. So what we're trying to find is we're trying to find some way to express the number of rabbits that I have you know, in some form of x, and we'll denote that as say an f of x, or a function of how many rabbits I have. So how many rabbits do I have? We can do this just by creating a geometric series. So with a geometric series or geometric sequence, we have some sort of specific notation for it, and we use three main terms for it. So we have a first term in our series, so we know that I started with two rabbits, and in our geometric series, we'll refer to this as A. So I'll always say that my A, A being the first letter of the alphabet, A is the first number in my series. So for this example, the first number in my series is going to be 2. I'll say my value for A is 2. And then we also know this common ratio. So we'll refer to this common ratio using an R for ratio. So the common ratio is going to be 4 divided by 2, or 8 divided by 4, or even 32 divided by 16, and we've already worked it out, and it's also going to be 2. So I hope that doesn't get confusing. Our first number is 2, and our common ratio is 2. So if we want to find a general expression for the number of rabbits we, I have in my yard, we know that I began with 2. So I began with a number of rabbits, and every week, or well, I think it's been, it's been months since I got these rabbits, every month the rabbits multiply. So they're multiplying by this r. But depending on the number of times that they've multiplied depends on what period of time we're in. So if we're, one, if we're in the second period, the rabbits have multiplied so if we're in the second period, the rabbits have multiplied once. If we're in the third period, the rabbits have multiplied twice, one, two. If we're in the fourth period, the rabbits have multiplied 
three times. If we're in the fifth period, the rabbits have multiplied four times. And if we're in the sixth period, the rabbits have multiplied five times. So what we can say is we have a, an initial amount of rabbits, and then they have multiplied by, and if we notice that in the second period it's once, third, twice, they have multiplied n minus 1 times. So if this is n, and our n is just our period number, in the second period, when n equals 2, the rabbits have multiplied once. In the third period, where n equals 3, the rabbits have multiplied twice. So n minus 1 times. So n3 minus 1 gives us 2, 2 minus 1 gives us 1. So we can express our general form of a geometric sequence in this initial amount times by the amount of times the rabbits have multiplied, so the common difference divided by n minus 1. So if you wanted to apply that to this situation, we can just take out our numbers and put them straight into our sequence which we've just come up with. So our a is equal to 2, so we started off with two rabbits initially, and then we know our rabbits are doubling. So here, our rabbits are doubling. And that was going to be our common ratio. So every month, our rabbits double. So our common ratio is to the power of n minus 1. So our general expression for the amount of rabbits I have at any given period is going to be 2, initial amount of rabbits, times by the number of times they've doubled. So if I'm now in the sixth period, so n is now equal to 6, and I want to work out how many rabbits I have in my backyard, what I can do is I can say that there were initially 2 rabbits, and every month they double, and they are going to have doubled. We're in the sixth month, so they're going to have doubled five times, so 6 minus 1, so that will equal 5 if we cancel that down. So I can say that the rabbits have, I initially started with 2, and they have doubled 5 times. How many rabbits am I going to have now? I think the answer is too many rabbits. Too many rabbits. But if we actually simplify this down, we can work out that I have 64 rabbits. So 2 times 2 to the power of 5. So that's how we define a geometric sequence. And that is my rabbit problem. So thank you for that, guys. I will put out another video giving you some examples on this.